And hello, everyone. Welcome to another great session with Follow the Money Investor Group. Today, we have the great pleasure of welcoming Sean Hilliker, who's Vice President of Exploration with Standard Uranium with operations out of Saskatchewan. Sean, how are you today? I'm doing really well, Mark. Thanks for having me today. Really grateful to sit down with you and explore some of the details and inner workings of the company and specifically on the technology side, because I understand you're a geoscientist and as VP of exploration, we can look yep. to you for some of the technical details and updates of what's happening with the company. John Bay, of course, uh, has been featured many times in the past too, but I, I know you bring a very uh, specifically technical and scientific background to the yep. audience, so we're grateful for that. So let me start with an open-ended question, which is what's happening with the company today? Where are you moving into quarter three? And uh, what's most exciting at the company these days? Well, it's very exciting times uh, for the company right now. Uh, we just actually got into our new office that I'm in right now in Saskatoon, downtown here. And uh, we're currently running our biggest drill program to date at our Davidson River project. Uh, so we got a big 10,000 meters planned and uh, we kicked that off uh, just over a month ago. And uh, yeah, things are going well up there. The guys are all busy and I'm heading up here again in a couple of days. And uh, yeah, we got 20 plus holes planned and we're testing some new targets that we haven't tested at all yet so far. So we're all really excited to uh, see what we pull out of the ground. And uh, so lots, lots to come in the next few months here for news. Great to hear that. I'm always curious what the conversations are inside the company. This is why these sessions are so helpful for our audience. A lot of people out there are curious about investing in this sector. Can you tell me about the move into the summer drill program? Why is this such a, a big moment for the company and, and where, is the, where, is, where is the excitement coming from? For sure. So we're, we've been focusing on our flagship project, the Davidson River project, project up in northern Saskatchewan. It's in the southwest corner of the Athabasca Basin. And uh, until we drilled last summer, it had never been drill tested at all for uranium. So it was very exciting to, you know, be the first company to come in there and actually put some drill holes in the ground. Um, so we did a, a 5,600 meter program last summer, uh, followed that up with a smaller program this past winter in 2021, drilled another 3,000 meters. And so now we're coming back this summer with uh, a big program, the biggest yet, to really kind of try and expedite the company towards making that new discovery. So, you know, we've quadrupled our planned meterage and uh, we're going to drill, you know, we're going to double our holes that we've drilled on the project so far. So we're all really excited to get up there and uh, have the opportunity to test some of these targets across the property. Very exciting news. Thank you for that. And I do want to take advantage of your scientific and technical background here because that's a great opportunity for people to hear about that side of the company. Can you tell me when it comes to uranium in general, the applications, what happens? We're obviously in a very in-depth process at the company, but uh, applications on the planet at, at market level. Uh, tell me more about uranium and, and the applications from the company. For sure. So, I mean, our slogan is, you know, we find the fuel to power the clean energy future. And that's what we're trying to do here, you know, with the, the recent news and small modular reactors, you know, going through the approval process in Saskatchewan. Um, I mean, the fact that we have the highest grade uranium on the planet in this province and, you know, our, our power grid isn't ran on nuclear is like kind of crazy to me right now, but uh, we're moving in that direction. And that's the main application for uranium exploration is, you know, finding these high grade deposits that are economic even, you know, with the spot price, how it's been over the last, you know, 10, 15 years and, uh, and the market's really picking up right now where, you know, we, we all think that we're moving into this bull market, which we really hope we are. We're seeing that uptick in, uh, in interest and, and expiration. So it's great. Things are really busy um, and everybody's exploring. So we're really trying to push for that and, uh, you know, kind of plug us into the nuclear power grid. So that's, that's the main application we're looking for. Uh, with the company is to, you know, find that fuel to power that clean energy transition, uh, moving into, you know, baseload nuclear power that, uh, that we really need, that the world needs to, you know, move to that clean energy future. Terrific. Thank you for that. I know we have uh, some great details on the website. It's a really well put together uh, website with details on the company and the operations. Uh, in terms of the actual technical process, this is a turning point for the company in terms of some of the recent news that's come out in press releases. Can you, can you walk us through uh, generally uh, for the audience the, the process of what it is that Standard Uranium does and, 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 and why this is an important juncture? Certainly. So we are a junior exploration company. So what we do is we'll raise money from investors, interested parties, and then we go explore for that next big discovery. So it's our job to go do the detective work, do the geology, the geoscience, and drill the ground and try and uh, find the next deposit. So 
you know, hope that's our main goal is to make that discovery. And then once we do, we continue drilling it, delineate it, see how big it is. And, uh, you know, hopefully we come up with something economic. So, you know, using my previous company, Next Gen Energy, as an example, that's exactly what they've done. You know, they're our neighbor down in the southwest corner there uh, with the aero deposit. And, uh, you know, they've delineated, delineated that thing and it's a, it's a fantastic high grade deposit. So, you know, we're moving. That's what we want to do. We want to make the next discovery, delineate it. And then, you know, as a junior, it's our job to find it. And then you have your major companies like the Cameco, Arano, those types that uh, come in and, you know, hopefully would build a mine and, and mine it out and bring it to production. Great. That's a great uh, bird's eye view of the eco structure that happens in the industry. Thank you for that. Yep. Can we focus specifically? I know we also want to talk about the team at Standard Uranium because some great news happening mm -hmm. out of the company. But uh, let's uh, locate our audience in terms of the, the summer drill program itself. Some of the very deep dive specifics you can offer us that uh, that that's involved with the program. Sure. So, you know, our Davidson River project is our flagship project in the southwest corner. All of our projects are located in and around the Athabasca Basin. The Athabasca Basin is this large, basically a bowl of sand uh, that covers most of northern Saskatchewan into Alberta. And uh, it's world renowned for the highest grade uranium deposits uh, on the planet, like I mentioned. So we have three different projects over on the east side of the basin where, you know, there's lots of infrastructure. A lot of the historical exploration has happened in the past. That's where Cigar Lake is, uh, MacArthur River, the, you know, those mines that mm -hmm. uh, Cameco owned and uh and rano and so we have projects over there in a relatively underexplored area so we're excited to go check those out we also have a project our sundog project up by uranium city in the northern athabasca basin uh we're going to be hoping to head up there and do a little bit more geophysical work and then uh, get to exploring that as well we've had some really promising sampling uh, results from surface come out of that project uh, last fall mm -hmm. um you know upwards of three and a half percent u308 at surface so that's fantastic and uh, yeah, so the Davidson River project is our biggest chunk of land and has uh, several you know, really long, prominent uh, conductors on the project. So when we talk about conductors, we were referring to packages of, of uh, really old basement rocks that contain graphite and other conductive minerals like sulfide minerals. Mm -hmm. um, so we identify those and that's kind of the exploration model. Uh, in the basin where we identify these things using our geophysical surveys, and then we go drill test them uh, after, you know, kind of combing through the weeds and, and figuring out where we want to drill specifically. Mm -hmm. So we add up all these different layers and then choose our drill targets based on that. So we have uh, four main conductors on the Davidson River project, okay. uh, the Saint Conductor, Warrior, Bronco, and Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. And we've uh, focused mostly on the Warrior trend um, to date, we sunk one hole into uh, the Saint trend last winter, mm -hmm. and uh, that's actually where we're starting this summer is on the Saint trend. So, following up on the results we had there and drill testing that along strike, and then we're going to step from east to west and go actually test our Bronco and Thunderbird trends for the very first time this summer as well. So, really yeah. excited to get up there and uh, and continue drilling and and start testing those targets as well. Thank you for that. Uh, great details on, details on the technical side. Can you tell me a bit about the significance of 10,000 meters? I know that's, that's part of the plan with the summer drill program. Uh, maybe help our audience understand that the significance of that. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a massive property with you know, kilometers and kilometers of what we call strike length. So just the length of these conductors. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, a drill hole is only this big, a couple inches around. So you know, when we're trying to test these things and really test them, we take really aggressive step outs and, uh, and test along there. So you need a lot of meterage to, you know, really properly test these things. So we, we take steps along strike of those trends. And then we also drill fences across strike and uh, systematically test these, these areas of interest. So it's really exciting to have 10,000 meters to play with, you know, on my side, yeah. uh, plant, it's more drill holes that I get to plan and uh and go drill so we're really excited about that and like i mentioned before too we're really trying to you know expedite the process for the company to make that discovery so you know if we we thought you know doing a big program and uh really going for it here would be uh you know really help us to start to vector in on on that uh big discovery great a lot of energy inside the company with this turning point it sounds like for sure 
Great to hear that. Well, speaking of energy, uh, you know, one of one of the greatest uh, folks in the industry, a bit of a legend, is uh, Pierre Lasson. And during a recent event, he spoke about, you know, when you're looking at companies, the criteria for investment, and and, and the first thing he mentioned was people and management, yep. and then went to assets and jurisdiction, et cetera. So tell me a bit about uh, the rock stars inside the company. I know you've had some recent hires. Yeah, absolutely. So while there's myself and our our uh, technical guys on the board as well, Neil, Neil McCallum, he's our lead technical director now. He's you know, working really closely with me, you know, kind of ushering me into my new role as VP of exploration for the company, which I'm super excited about. Mm-hmm. And then uh, obviously Galen uh, McNamara and Garrett Ainsworth on the board too, as uh, board members and technical advisors. Um, so great to work with them again. I've worked with them for years in the past over at NextGen. Uh, great guys and really good geoscientists as well. Um, so we got a really good board team there and higher level team. And then we've actually hired some, uh, some new project geologists uh, to come in too, Mason Ermel and uh, Ezra Mazzaro. Yes. And uh, I've known both of them for years. Uh, they both have a really diverse you know, skill set to bring to the team. Uh, Ezra is coming to us from Arano. He's uh, worked on several different projects across the basin with Arano. Uh, Arano is a great company you know, to work for. It's a major company. You got you know, lots of really good knowledge to draw upon there as far as you know, logistics, health and safety. And, and the geoscience itself. So great to have him on board and uh, to help think about those things and you know help us think outside the box. And then Mason as well. I worked with him at NextGen and he's got some other experience doing some rare earth and uh, uranium stuff with Appia and uh, also Denison Mines. So his skills with Denison Mines that he's learned, you know, they're working on their in situ recovery mining method right now okay. uh, over on the east side. So he's got a lot of you know development standpoint uh, experience to bring to the table as well, uh, you know, doing all that kind of geotechnical work and that kind of thing. So that would, you know, help us down the road once we, you know, if we make a discovery, then, you know, we need to start looking at those things in more detail. So really, really diverse team. And, and then obviously all the geologists that we use as contractors from Daru Geological, um, you know, they're all great guys and girls and it's, it's great to have them all up there. We got a young team, you know, an excited team. And uh, we're up there just amped up to, to make the next discovery. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been really good. And we're uh, looking at bringing some more on here in the future as well. So stay tuned for that. Great to hear that. Behind every great team is a great team, I hear. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. The moments like this, honestly, Sean, I look at it and I say, this is every kid's dream to grow up into a job like this and get to go out and be an explorer in the way that you are. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's like camping for work, you know, like we were up there, northern Saskatchewan, like, you know, people think of Saskatchewan as wheat fields and canola fields and that kind of thing, which it is. And, you know, that's where I'm from is small town, southern Saskatchewan. But, you know, northern Saskatchewan is like a completely different ball game. Like It's absolutely beautiful up there. Uh, you know, there's topography, there's hills, there's forests, there's rivers, lakes, so many lakes. And, uh, you know, you'd think you're in BC in, in some parts. So it's it's great to get up there spend weeks at a time up there with a good crew, you know, we can blow off some steam and go fishing right, you know, right at camp there, uh, staying at Big Bear Lodge uh, that we work closely with uh, Chief Teddy Clark up there. So uh, that's, that's uh, Big Bear's uh, hit run by the Clearwater River Dene Nation and himself. So it's, you know, it's really good to stay there with them and the camp's just beautiful. And, you know, we love, love being up there. It's, it's, it's really great. <laughs> Sounds like a great job to have. Absolutely. Um, sure. I always love to look with people like yourself, Sean, uh, you know, it's a chance for the outsiders to look inside the company. So can you, mm-hmm. let's look ahead, say the next six, 12 to 18 sure. months um, as a viewer and an investor, what, what should we watch? What should we be watching for with you as the company moves forward in the next little while? Well, we've been trying really hard, you know, to uh, amp up our social media game and, you know, really try and bring investors in and outsiders in and trying to break things down and explain, you know, what we actually do up there. Uh, if they're an investor of ours, you know, what are we spending their money on? And, uh, you know, this is how we, we find the next big deposit, right? So, you know, breaking it down all the different things and uh, talking about drilling and all those things. So, you know, always, you know, over the next, you know, period of the drill program until we're done and after. Uh, stay tuned for, you know, lots of videos and other things to come out there, um, as well as news releases too. So the biggest thing, you know, once we drill, uh, we drill more holes, we sample those rocks, we send them back here to Saskatoon to the lab. Um, assay results are, you know, something everybody's probably familiar with. Uh, that's that's the main thing, right? So, um, 
once we get these rocks analyzed, then we actually know what's in them. And then that's a big thing to look for is, is those assay results. So hoping to uh, have a lot of success this summer and then uh, we'll be sending samples out all summer. So uh, we should maybe expect some staggered results there. Um, it all, all depends on logistics and how busy SRC is here in Saskatoon. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for news releases that assay results and of course, plentiful Twitter and, and social media uh, stuff coming out too. So. Fair enough. And honestly, yeah. kudos to the company because uh, you, you seem there's, a, there's quite an abundant amount of content on the social media side, checking out your Twitter <laughs> feed. So I encourage people to go and check that out as well. You talk about the vistas, the landscape, the beauty in Northern Saskatchewan. Yeah. It's evident in some of the videos that you posted, but you guys oh, yeah. really do a great job when you're actually at the drill site, walking people through the technology and what happens on the ground. So uh, I really, yeah. uh, really appreciate that kind of effort that goes into it. Um, sure. Lastly, let's, let's cover uh, a couple more points. I always like to leave the door open at the end if we've missed anything, but when you go home at night, Sean, and, and you, you've done your day of work and you know where the company is and there's a lot of anticipation, what are you most excited about right now for the company on a day-to-day -day basis? That's a good question. I mean, like I said, I'm really excited to move into this vice president role and, you know, that's, that's a huge, huge step for me in my career. And, you know, it's, it's, it's extremely exciting and it's like hard to fall asleep sometimes too. Like, especially in the field, you know, when the rocks are coming in, like I think John said before, it's kind of like Christmas morning for the geos every time. Cause you know, we're, we're looking for that, uh, that hot uranium in, in the hole and, you know, we're just anticipating it coming in and every time we move the drill to a new target, um, you know, it's really exciting to, to drill the hole. And once we approach that zone, see what comes out. Right. So that's, you know, just that and, and branching out to our next projects too um, and getting things going there. I mean, there's, it's a young company. Uh, we got a great team and we're really building this thing and pushing this thing forward. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a great part or a great time to be part of Standard Uranium. And uh, I'm just, yeah, very excited to be part of the company and, and helping push it forward. So. That's fantastic, Sean. That feels like a good yeah. overview of where the company is right now, and especially insight and wisdom from the technical side. We always appreciate yeah. hearing the, the fine details. Anything else you want to share with the audience today? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, feel free to ask us any questions on Twitter and stuff. We've been trying to put out some videos, you know, kind of breaking down uh, the more technical aspects as well, like, you know, geochemical pathfinders and, you know, some of the geology jargon that I use in some of the videos. Uh, so I don't know if you have any questions, if you wanted to touch on any of that, um, but, you know, I was talking about assays and stuff. So mm -hmm. what that is essentially is just, you know, we get crush the rock up and they run it through a machine and they give us a spreadsheet with all the different elements of the periodic table broken out on it. Mm -hmm. So then we look at certain ones. Uh, there's different groups of those elements that we know are associated with uranium. So those are the pathfinders that we call. So we, uh, we look at those specifically, we look for what we call anomalies, which are just exceptionally high values. And uh, yeah, so we use those and model those in 3D uh, to target next our next drill holes. And then of course, we're looking for that U308 uh, assay in, in that spreadsheet as well. So that's what we're hoping to see. And uh, yeah, so that's, you know, one of the more technical things that I think people should uh, be a little bit more aware of perhaps and like what those assays actually mean. Uh, when companies, you know, put these results out there and uh, just to know what to look for and uh, make sure, you know, they can make smart investments based on that. But it's, uh, yeah, it's always a good time trying to, trying to talk rocks to, uh, to a layman who doesn't, you know, understand my language. So, <laughs> but I try. So hey. if any, anybody has any questions, you know, feel free to hit us up on Twitter or uh, any one of our platforms, reach out to us and uh, yeah, we'll shoot a video just for you. I appreciate that very much. Sounds like an open door invitation for people that are curious about the company. And as always, Sean, we appreciate your time and insights and uh, looking inside the company at such a depth. And we look forward to following the company as things move forward with you. All right. Sounds good, Mark. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Thanks very much, Sean. You bet. Cheers.